Hello everybody, this is Ian Bohannon here with a quick update on the Krita tutorial. If you want to export your animations in any way, you will need to download an extension known as FFmpeg. Without it, you will not be able to render any of your animations, so I recommend you do this before animating. You will want to go to gyan.dev forward slash ffmpeg forward slash builds. You may see this referred to as gyan.dev on other websites. As long as it looks like this, you will be fine. You will want to scroll down to the release builds section. Make sure you skip over git master and go to release builds. And in the screen rectangles here, you will want to click on and download ffmpeg release full. Now, I'm going to be doing this in my downloads folder, but I recommend you do this in another protected stable folder because Krita will be, will be needing these files for the foreseeable future. So open it in your preferred file manager. Um, extract the files. Now inside, there will be a lot of um, folders and other things. What we really want is here in the bin folder and it's just ffmpeg.exe. So in Krita, I just have this basic uh, animation where there's just a ball going from one end of the screen to the other. If you want to actually export this in some kind of movie or GIF format, you'll want to scroll down to file and then render animation. And you have three options for your export as an image sequence, which will absolutely take up all of your folder space, um, as a video, which could be our preferred, and then both if you just like really need a backup. So you have, you know, your original options. Where do you want to start? Where do you want to end? How fast do you want it to be? But what we really want is this one says FFmpeg video options. You'll want to head on over to your folder. Navigate to your FFmpeg build. Oh, that just took a second. And it will add that to your folder, and you'll finally be able to render it as your preferred type of video. Um, you can either as a GIF, if you just want to autoplay, I'm just going to choose MP4 and then title it whatever you want. So if I name it like circle.mp4, export and Great, now I've created an MP4 file. Thank you for watching.